But this is the look. I hope you guys enjoy my first ever tutorial. Don't mind me, I'm really weird, clearly. Um, what else is there to say? Yeah, um, like, share, subscribe. Don't double tap, it's not Instagram. But if I put this video on Instagram, you can double tap it. Um, I don't know what else, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for coming. So this is my like 700, uh, 700? Attempt. I don't know what that means, but anyway. Um, I concealed my under eye and the side of my nose with NC50 by MAC NC50. Pro Longwear NC50, in NC50. Put it under my eye and the side of my nose. Patted it down with the Essential Foundation Brush from Real Techniques. You can get this at Ulta. I think Walgreens has it. Or it might be Kmart. I don't know. One of the places has it. And... Um, and then I took the NYX eyeshadow base in white. I use white because I don't need it to be my complexion. I need it to make my eyeshadow look brighter. So now I did that, put my eyeshadow on. I mean my eyeshadow base. I'm going to use NARS concealer in caramel, medium slash dark too. I guess that's an option as a name. I don't know. I'm only going to use this under my eyebrows, like a dab under my eyebrow, and then another. And then I start to blend it out under my eye. I should probably do one eye, then do the next eye, but as you can tell, I am not experienced in this. And I can't tell if I did it properly because it's dark here. I might add a little bit more. This thing can last you forever because it's like you can just use a dot and you're, you'll be fine. Okay. Grab I'm going to use this peachy white color from NYX. And I'm going to use a concealer brush from Eco Tools and place. And blend. I'm going to take my MAC palette that is nowhere near complete. I only have four out of, oh no, I have five. Five out of 15. So I am a quarter, a third of the way there. And first I'm going to be using soft brown. I think this is soft brown. It looks like it's soft. I'm going to take soft brown and put it in the crease. And just blend. Blend, 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 blend. In the crease, again, just blend. You want to blend, like, super a lot. <laughs> super a lot. Because it's going to be a smoky thing. So I'm doing it right on my brow bone. If you don't have, like, a defined crease, you can just fake it in. Yeah, just fake it. Fake it till you make it right. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. So, darker brown color, which is saddle. Oh, this is brown script, and this is saddle. I remembered. This color, and I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush. And this one, you want it to be a little bit more precise than um, the color you used before. And I'm going to put this right in, like right in my crease, like in it. And then bring it in just a little bit. And then on the outer part, you want to let me make sure I'm in the frame. Because if I'm not, I'm upset. Right in there. Pick up some more of it and do the same thing. 
And then I'm going to take another color and make it a little bit even more precise. And I'm going to use the brown script. And it's like a reddish brown, burnt orange color. So this might, this is going to make your eyeshadow pop more. Just a little bit on the brush, if you can see that. And you're going to make it a little bit more precise than the other one. And you're going to do circular motions. I usually do not take my time doing my makeup, so it's probably come out better than most things I do. Because I don't take my time. I take my time in the senses and I have no more time. So let me do it quickly. I don't remember if I did the other eye. So I'll just keep doing this eye. Then what I like to do is take a blending brush. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys what blending brush I used. I used Sonia Kashuk blending brush. It's called number 109, it's on the bottom. It's from Target. Um, I take Mac Rule orange color and a little bit of brown script, mostly Mac Rule, and blend and add it to the top and blend that out. So it gives you like a smoky halo is the wrong word, but I'm gonna say halo. I'm gonna use Max Embarked. I bought this in pan form. I mean in pot, pot pan whatever pot form and I should have bought it in pan form. I might have to depot it and put it in my palette, but it's annoying carrying these things around. But I'm gonna take that and an eyeshadow brush. I don't know where my other eyeshadow brush is, so I'm just gonna use this one. This is from e.l.f. It's like a one dollar eyeshadow brush. It looks like a smudge brush because it's so short and stubby, but I guess it's not. And I'm going to pat this all around wherever I didn't put eyeshadow the first time. I'm going to use my Vice palette from Urban Decay. This thing is life. Um, and I'm going to take the color Bondage and Rain. Mix it together. Using the brush that comes with it. I'm using this part of the brush. The brush doesn't have a name but it looks like this. Mix those two, get more of the purplish color and pop it right on the corner. So here and bring it up. And then I'm gonna take my 217 brush and blend it. And then take my blending, other blending brush because I don't want it to be a hard crease. This is Urban Decay, but whatever. And I'm gonna take this black color with a eyeshadow, an angled eyeshadow brush or a liner brush. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna dab it in the corner and make a straight line and then make another line. So I made a V. And then I'm gonna take my 217 brush and Circular motions, blend it out. So it's a little bit more intense. Same on the other eye. In the NARS concealer. In the color creamy, nope, in the color caramel medium dark this is the creamy concealer that's why i said creamy this thing is bomb i usually only use mac pro longwear concealer in nc45 but this thing gives me so much life just so much life um here i just make random lines and i usually don't dip this wand back in unless i need to most part i don't some more. And then I take my Real Techniques brush again and then I pat it 
To me, the concealing and highlighting part of your makeup is where you do the beat down because your eyeshadow can look nice, but if your skin looks like not beat down, then it's like, there's no point. My favorite part is this, like I can just wear concealer and eyeliner and my day will be all set. Oh, this is easy. Oh, my eyeshadow looks nice. Now I can see my eyeshadow. Couldn't see it before. And you blend. And I just pat, pat, pat. If I need to drag it on the edges, I do. But usually, I just pat it down. And depending on where I'm going, what I'm doing, who's going to be there. No, I'm just kidding. Not really. I need to do a little more blending here. Um, depending on where I'm going, if it's like a more fancier event, I will go like this. No foundation. I'll just use a flat top kabuki brush, this is from e.l.f. and blend out the edges. Usually I spray Fix Plus on my brush. Because I'm a fan of foundation. And if I use foundation or anything like it, I don't put it on this part of my face. Here. Because I hate that mask thing that happens to people. And I have like a natural contour up here. So I don't like to use it. Because they have the contour or whatever else. I just blend out the edges. Just a little bit. I only spray it once. I don't need it to be soaking wet. Put it on the edges and blend down. And on the sides of your nose too. To set my highlight concealer, I'm going to use, I'm out of breath, ELF's High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder from CVS. It's an accent brush, just a little brush, and put that under my eye. Neck, and this is the dark palette. And it comes with a corrector, comes with a yellow corrector as well. And then it has a darker, two, four highlighting things and a darker one. This, I'm gonna use this for contour. And I just use a concealer type brush that I currently do not have. I use my finger. And get some, oh, it's a lot. And you wanna contour, Mm -hmm. and the hollows of your cheek and up here so I'm just going to make a streak here one there some up here some up here and I only make a small streak because then I blend it down so this side I'm going to do this and it's going to and I'm using the edge of the brush. And then here, same thing. It only intensifies it. I could, I usually skip this part. You can take one of these highlighting shades and put it underneath where you contour to make the contour pop up more. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to do that. And then, once you're done with that, I use my eyes for my eyeshadow. My foundation lasts um, to blend everything together using this one. Um, it looks gross. I usually shake it from the front of the orange. This usually matches my skin better in the summertime. And I just put it on my brush like so. And then, uh, that's it. Blush in Desert Rose, I think. Ulta, uh, Target, Kmart have this. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. I use this as my blush brush. And put it on the apples of my cheeks. And this color is intense, but I can't tell if it's on my face. And then this...
gonna take MAC lip pencil in Night Moth. Pop in. This is like the best thing ever. And a line. I look. And then I'm going to use this, by the way. I haven't used this in a while. And this is the look. <laughs> Probably made the ugliest face in America.